Okay, guys, welcome back. Little uh, eight inch, 20 centimeter tile again today. Little experiment. I wonder what would happen if I mixed my Extreme Sheen paints with my Bloom pouring medium. What do you think? Haven't tried it yet. Every time I try something new and I don't video it, it turns out beautiful and then I'm kicking myself that I didn't video it. So I'm just going to video everything. And then um, if it doesn't work, well, you'll never know, will you? <laughs> so I've done that. I've got, um, oh, I should tell you, I've got uh, pink, what's it say? Pink tourmaline and aquamarine in the Deco Art Extreme Sheen. And then I've just got my usual Joe Sonia's 50% uh, phthalo blue, 50% phthalo green to get like a dark turquoise. And my cell activator, my white. This is still my two to one. I write it on there so I'll remember which is which. And then when I'm finished with it, I just put a big cup over like that and it keeps it fresh till the next day. I don't make up very much. I have got a lot of the three to one mixed up, but I haven't got much of the two to one. I just mix it up because I'm still trying to work out whether I like two to one or three to one. So we we'll shall see. Now, last time I got big blobs in my house paint. It was coming out of my bottle, so I'll just give that a bit of a spin around. Look, I've got all the big blobs. Uh, I don't know why. I did pour my paint into a, a container like this. Um, I don't know whether that's got anything to do with it or not. I wouldn't think so. I don't, I don't know. I just don't know why it's got, getting lumpies in it. Maybe you need to stir your pillow paint really well before you use it each time. But um, as I said, I pour it into this, into my squeeze bottles. Um, so maybe I just need to give it a bit of a shake. Yeah, I don't know. So there's another one there. I'm not sure what's going on here. If you guys know, you can let me know. Now, I don't know if something else fell into that. I did a pour earlier and it had blobs in it and when I went to stretch it, the paint was catching on the blobs and it wouldn't stretch properly, so I had to redo it. Okay, so let's leave it at that and um, I'm going to go with the aquamarine first. I've made it to the same consistency. Uh, I mixed it to the same rate as I did my others. Two parts of the pouring medium to one part paint. That leaves a little mound, same as my others. And then I'm going to go with the pink and then I'm going to put the dark teal over the top because that's what I want next to my cell activator. I think that would look pretty, having a dark colour like that under the white. It'll be interesting to see if it works, hey? Or whether you have to use, you know, the Joe Sonia's paints. Um, I've got my little, a new little blower. I'm going to use him. You're going off to the side, are you? Who said you could do that? I've just got some double-sided tape holding my tile down to my little cake um, turntable thingy underneath. Because I don't want to use my big turntable when I've only got a little tile. That's too much mess.
pretty good blow. A few bubbles, because I've only just mixed up that paint, so have got a few bubbles here and there, which is probably too many to pop. I'm just going to leave it, probably tilt them all off anyway. Now, I'm not going to wait. If I was tilting, I'd wait till the middle was loose, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to spin. It's shiny. I need to just move my paint down a bit. <laughs> Picking up the whole turntable. So if you've got enough paint in your puddles, it's pretty easy to cover all your corners. If you don't have enough paint, it makes it a bit tricky to cover your corners. What you can do as well if you're running a bit short on coverage is blow that out so that you don't see the stripes. <laughs> then you can still see the colours but it's not a definite stripe, you know what I mean? So it's a little bit more just a bit more blended I guess. I'm going to see if I can get the paint to go off there. But it wasn't very level when I started was it? <laughs> I probably needed to centre my, my puddle before I started. Alright so that's pushed the paint down a little bit. Let's give it a, another spin. Whoops, finger slipped. That's the only downside from having not having my big turntable is I can't get a grip underneath. I'll hang on to it here where it's not a very good corner. Because on the turntable you can actually hold underneath. Am I getting any closer? I don't know that I'm getting any closer to actually covering that. One more try. <laughs> that was pretty fast, hey? I nearly, I actually spun the whole thing over a little bit. Hopefully that's gone over the corners now. So I don't think I should spin again. Move the whole thing over with ah! a push. Bronte, be quiet, please. I'm trying to video. Okay, well, look at that. So how's that for... Um, a different paint, hey? Wow. The um, the turquoise has gone quite pale. Actually, maybe I should have put this on the bottom and then another little bit on top. It's actually turned out really quite nice, hasn't it? Yeah. I mean, the, the lacing isn't as defined around here. Those of you that have used uh, the Supreme Sheen know how it um, it kind of cells up and makes like fluffy kind of cells. It's sort of like puffy fluffy sort of cells which we're getting around here. It's just a different look. Actually it's quite nice. Let me take you down for a close up. Let's get my gloves off. I do like those colours. The pink's not really, <clears throat> I think I probably tipped most of the pink off I'm trying to cover here. I really like this dark teal, so wouldn't mind doing it again with more teal on the bottom. I'll show you a close-up and then I think I'll pour over it and see if I can improve on it, eh? I'm not going to pick it up because I just get too grubby. To see if I can zoom you in. How's that? Does look pretty, doesn't it? All right, I'll zoom you back out a little bit. And I'm going to pour over it and just see if I can get a better result. And I'm standing here and the light's shining on it. It's really, really shiny there. 
put my gloves back on. And I'm just going to pour over the top of it. Hopefully I won't get too many of these blobbies again. See, there's a little blobby there to get you out. Okay, here we go. Oh, look, heaps of blobs are going into it now. I just don't understand. I'm just going to level that out a bit so I can actually see the blobs. Otherwise, I can't see where they are. Oh, why, why does it do that? Does anyone know? Maybe it's like getting a skin. <clears throat> do you think maybe the paint's getting like a skin on the top of it? But it's sealed. It is sealed. And I'll keep the lid on it all the time. So I don't know. All right, so we've got good coverage and then just another little puddle. Our puddle to sit on. And let me just make sure there's nothing in that. there is. Dear oh dear. I might just have to use from the tin in future and see if that's any better. Okay so I'm going to start with the teal this time and end with the teal. Okay. I'm going to go a little bit more this time because I've only got I've only got the three colors. So normally I would have four colors. So I'd end up with more paint, but um, because I've only got three, I kind of need to add a little bit more paint, hey, to make up for that fourth puddle that I haven't got. I kind of feel as if I have to have a solid colour between the two metallics. I think it probably would work better, but... Maybe like a navy. Oops, that's a lot of paint. But next time, we'll see you next time, hey? Now let's move you over so that the puddle is in the middle this time. Okay, here we go to my little blower, do your thing. no good I can't really see the pink through there now I'm going to go straight away what happens if I like the previous one first can I get it back <laughs> no it's just too bad so sad hey so obviously didn't need so much teal there's a bit and too much paint too. Okay. Let's go back to um, I'm try a different container of paint, see if that's any better. Let's go back to the first way I did it. This one doesn't seem to have any blobs in it. It's coming out in a nice, even stream. Let's leave it like that and not spread it out and just see what the difference is, hey? So, what did we do last time? We had, we had the turquoise. Now, I'm gonna be pretty much out of paint here, so this will be the last one playing with the extreme sheen. And then our teal. This one was better, wasn't it? This color scheme was better. And our white. I 
a lot of control with this little guy. It's only a thousand watts. So I got a lot of control with it. all going back into the middle so let's spin before it all starts to clump back into the middle <laughs> okay I like my first one best you guys can I have it back where's all my pink It's a very pretty flower, that one. It's a true, true flower. True bloom. Little bit of pink shining through. Oh, not much at all. I, I think I put way too much... Um, of the turquoise on the bottom didn't I but that's okay anyway we've had three different looks there um, I think I probably do prefer the first one but this one is quite stunning as well it's got little hints of pink and the center is really pretty I'm just taking my gloves off so I can grab my camera and um, bring it down so yeah this one's really pretty too just go down there see I've got my bright light on it's very bright um, I might actually just turn it off so that I can do this close up otherwise it shows the, the white ring from the light it, it sort of you can see it shining on the surface of the painting so what do you think I was under the impression that you could only use you know like Joe Sonia's paints or Amsterdam you know really good quality paints um, I guess these are good quality too I just didn't think that they would work but that's really quite pretty isn't it I am in love with that dark dark center there look at that wowzers and then it just gets lighter as you go out from the center and the little hints of pink in there yeah so definitely going to keep going with some of these uh, the thing with these because they're the um, extreme sheen they're really shiny you know once they're dry so I will show you when it's dry let me turn the light on and see if it's any better if, if I stand over here see how you can see the ring the ring who watches the movies the ring oh love them love scary movies so I'll just have to stand over here so that the ring from my ring light doesn't reflect onto it yeah I love scary movies all that kind of thing zombies possessions hauntings <laughs> I love all those sorts of movies all right uh, that's enough from me really like this one and um, yeah I've got lots of extreme sheen colors um we'll go have for a little walk over here um yeah i've got lots i've got gold and purple silvers what's that kind of a what's that one garnet some pinks blues actually that's a coral that one um yeah, lots and lots of colors and then there's these ones as well they're also deco art but they're called um, dazzling metallics so yeah it's quite a few different color combinations that I can try with those now 
And a last little look at this baby. I love it. It's so different from what I usually do. It is different um, because of those extreme sheens. And I still do like the first one, but hey, it's on video, so it'll be there forever for me to look back on. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'm really enjoying these spin blues. I hope you guys are too. I hope you're not getting too bored with them. If you're getting bored with them, well, you know, I just have to keep doing them until I'm I'm done. So, but I'll do other things in you know as well. I've got some really interesting, cool things coming up that I want to share with you. So I'll see you real soon for those. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.